Hi guys, it's Fitz Thistlewitz here. Now, I know a lot of you might be wondering what I've been up to these past few months. Uh, a few naysayers uh, claim that I panicked at the boost in, in subscribers that I got a while back. You know, as, as if I would be <laughs> intimidated by, by a larger audience. <laughs> Truth be told, I was actually working day and night for three months on a 200 hour Let's Play Spectacular, but unfortunately it contained copyrighted materials belonging to a certain company. A cough! Cough! Asterisks around the coughs. Uh, who have decided to crack down on that sort of thing. Oh yeah, I became a partner recently. Not in a gay way, but in a YouTube way. So I actually get paid for this shit that I do. And I'm gonna be honest with you here. I never liked making these videos. I'm purely in it for the money at this point. Now, to get around that pesky copyright, I sent my Let's Play to a crack team of Chinese animators. The same ones that I hired to make my Game Grumps animated video. Uh, they traced over the footage that I sent them and they sent me this back. Um, I added the music and sound effects myself, which I think you'll find are similar to, but legally distinct from a certain game series that shall not be named, Sonic. Now, uh, getting this animation done wasn't cheap. In fact, uh, just to break even, I'll need to get 7.5 million views by next Friday. Um, I'm cautiously optimistic, but you know. So yeah, this is Marion. He's a French carpenter from the Fungus Fiefdom. Yeah, it's funny, right? Yeah. He has a brother, Lou, Louis, Louis, and this is a 2D indie retro platformer, which is, I'm familiar with that genre. You have to navigate the platforms, and eventually overthrow Emperor Napoleon. He's like a giant armadillo or something, I don't know. Look, I know it's not as good as the real thing, but um, desperate times call for desperate measures. Let's be honest, this channel has seen its fair share of hardships. Uh, remember that ill-advised video I made about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? Um, the one that got taken down by the CIA to protect the lives of both myself and my followers. Well, this is just yet another one of those awkward situations where we're just gonna have to, just gonna have to just bite the bullet, metaphorically, not like those Palestinian children, okay? I'm so sorry. Ooh, one up. Now this part here, I was actually startled by a passing crow as it flew past my window, and I thought it was screaming my name, but it was just going, crash, crash, crash. You know, was, I don't know, something wrong with it. So yeah, I died here, but it, you know, it wasn't my fault. It was an accident. Um, I actually thought about asking the animation company to edit this bit out, but um, according to Google Translate, there isn't a Cantonese word for shed or crow. So I uh, I decided to just let them get on with it. So it's more honest that way. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an honest person. I'm, I, I don't really have any faults whatsoever. I'm sort of like Jesus, but you know, I, d I don't really have a beard or anything. Um, um, so yeah, that's it for episode one. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter. Well, that's a shame because I don't use that website. If you'd like to see a video of me shouting at some ducks, click here. If you'd like to ask me a question, oh, don't be shy. Send me a poom and I'll maybe answer it in a Q&A video. Which may or may not be made, maybe, probably not.